what up? What up, what up, what up, what the fuck, what the fuck? Right here driving to fucking San Diego. But on my recommended, a video popped up about a sheriff issuing a warrant for a pastor who held service twice on Sunday. Violating a no congregation order. That full straight issued a warrant and he's on the mic talking about he's, for a little second he tried to sound like uh, like he gives a fuck. Right? Uh, he even has another pastor there. Fuck that pastor. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, I understand that, yeah, if there's a virus, whatever, there should be distancing and all that shit. Six foot ain't gonna do shit because it being the virus being microscopic, that shit's gonna travel with the wind. Wherever you see wind and feel, if you watch weather and they show the wind patterns, that virus is all up in that shit. All up in there. A six foot rule don't do a fucking thing. Uh, that shit's in the air. It lasts hours and hours in the air, so. Say if I'm in Riverside, California, I could breathe in somebody's fucking molecule from fucking Orange County. You know what I mean? That went outside to fucking throw some trash in and they're like, huh, that fucking microscopic shit could follow the wind and blow up north to LA and then back around to Riverside. Anyways, my problem's with this warrant. They, they're bringing up the fact that in the Bible it says to follow the laws the land right but for sure a hundred percent without a doubt there's been times where God put it on people's hearts to do some shit that is against the law you know what I mean where there's been people undoubtedly that did God's work here on earth and some of those actions if it were performed in front of a police officer that shit would be considered illegal people go to prison sometimes for life but so we can't really judge that shit that's where god's gonna have to judge that pastor and what the fuck he did it for it's a possibility the pastor could have done it because he doesn't want to miss out on offerings but i'm not really buying that it's just my opinion I, i'm not judging this shit uh because that pastor still could have just sent out whatever he could have sent a message call like an automated phone call televise the need for money, 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 and people will believe that shit and give them more money. So I'm not believing he went through himself being around all these fucking people in a church because he wanted extra money. I'm not buying that. That's my opinion. God's gonna judge this shit. I know the difference between faith and talking about having faith because I'm not scared, you know what I mean? I, there's been times where I knew for a fact I was gonna die and what I questioned one of the most recent times was that, uh, like what I questioned, I was like, fuck, I didn't put on my daughter's basketball goal. And I knew I was laying in the freeway knowing I'm about to die, you know? I didn't, obviously, but a long time ago I knew God was real a long time ago I was a little ass kid and I knew for a fact that God was real and it was against all odds because everybody around me was either fucking horrifying scary with it with the word of God or they were fucking irritating so God showed me really early on I was a little ass kid that God was real so I definitely know for a fact, but faith, I have faith 100% without thinking about it. I don't have to say it or anything like that. It's how you feel inside. I wish everybody had it, but you just feel like everything is cool. Everything is cool because you know, you know, so there's nothing really too much to be crazy worried about, you know, it's one of those things you just, uh, we're here temporarily. And then we're out. 
but what matters is how you spend your time here. That shit really matters. And even if you're just in a room all by yourself, what type of person you are, in the head, physically, outside, like if you show, like if you do shit for show, that's not good. And if you're scared right now and you're 100% Christian, you devote 100% of your life to Christianity or Catholicism or whatever, anything that you dedicate 100% to, day in and day out and you volunteer all this fucking time that shit ain't gonna work if like that makes no sense you you have faith or you don't you know churches and people in churches have been playing god for the longest time and for some reason it's always put in my face all the times i became part of a church instantly i was like the leadership of that church was attracted to me instantly and uh, it was, I'll be there for a short time because they were giving thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars away. And it wasn't that I judged them and, uh, and uh, made my decision based off of that to not stay within that church, but just for the fact that to me, I didn't feel it was healthy and it's your job as a father to find a good church for your family. You know, but they abuse that money. And it's the craziest thing to see people, even good people, like well, we're good people, become something really bad. But it's in all of us. But I'm just tripping out because the sheriff issued a warrant for this pastor. He's going to arrest this fool, put him in jail with other motherfuckers. That shit don't make no fucking sense. But meanwhile, this fucking sheriff is holding a press conference walking face like that fucking close to some other motherfucker. He's got a pastor standing behind him. There's people that he thinks, oh, thank you so much for being here during a warm day and enduring the warmth of the day. Is he serious? What the fuck? That shit is crazy. They shouldn't be arresting no fucking pastor. What about all those motherfuckers that went to the beach? You know what I mean? You didn't see all this shit. These motherfuckers rolled up, staring at bitches in bikinis and shit. And fucking, you know, all perved out. Fucking John Q, bro. You guys need to get a fucking grip. I know there's some real good law enforcement out there. And there's also some real fucked up ones. But some shit, like, you ain't gonna be able to come back from. You can't, you know, follow an order of another man just because you think that shit is right in a job, I don't give a fuck about a job, you know what I mean, I've been there, fuck, dude, I've started over so many fucking times, just because somebody didn't like me, because I talk shit to them, you know, and it's not because I'm better, it's not because I'm better, it's because I know better, I don't, I know for a fact, it's not that I don't think I'm better than anybody, I know for a fact, for a fucking fact, Thanks, thank God to my dad, and the shit he would tell me, I would listen to bums, dude, like, bums would be straight talking to me smelling like fucking piss and just fuck and some of them fools came out with some crazy ass shit that was 100% true for sure without it that instantly when I heard that word I knew like damn that's some crazy shit but it was cool it was all good but I just can't believe that fools he issued he made the decision to issue a search warrant I mean a arrest warrant for a pastor <laughs> when He's holding a gathering of his own right now. Why not just stand up with a mic and the news crew? That's it. Why have a bunch of motherfuckers all uncomfortable in the heat? Fucking pussies. That's why we go through shit like this. Because everybody's too ungrateful for what we got. And I don't know. Like People need to pay attention. Everything's going to be cool. But you need to really question why you're fucking scared. If you're fucking scared. Because... Especially to all you people that devote so much time to what you think you're devoting your time to. But you're scared. A parishioner called and reported this pastor to them. That parishioner needs a little bit of... I guess it's probably good that they're in church, I guess. But maybe they're in the right church. If that dude's willing to subject himself to becoming sick. You know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure because of his faith in God, he'll probably be straight. I don't think it's because of the money because he could have done that shit anyways because there's a lot of dumbass motherfuckers that go to church. 
And if you see some shit and you don't say some shit, you know shit's fucked up, you don't say it, you're gonna be held accountable for that shit. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. You can't play God. You know what I mean? And this shit happened back in the day. Trying to persecute fucking Christians. Didn't work out. We still here. We still here. Some of us are not convicted 100%. Definitely convinced though, and we'll die for that shit. I'll fucking, I'll die for that shit. Whenever. So, I don't know. Think about that though. Sheriff issued a warrant for the rest of a pastor because he held mass. Well, not mass, he held service with his congregation. And he preached the word of the Lord, and that fool's gonna get arrested for that. That's fucking nuts, dude. Woo! That is crazy. I can't even fathom that. That's fucking insane right there. While that motherfucker's holding a press conference today talking about it. What about his stupid ass fucking getting all those people in a gathering? Fucking idiot. But yeah, normally I want to be positive on here and just try to fucking show some shit and save some money. But try to save yourself. Question why you're scared if you're scared. You know what I mean? Because it ain't no joke. And it's, it's not, honestly, it's not that hard to just do, you know, be what's right. It's not that hard. be different though be a little different so yeah just think about that shit regardless of whatever you know if you guys don't believe in God I ain't even fucking talking to you you know not yet anyways he hasn't put on my heart to go out there like he did other people and do all that I talk to other people about Lord on a daily basis I don't even know how many times it just comes up like there's all kinds of shit that's put in my path that it comes up you know, but I felt this video was necessary just because he should have warned for a, a pastor while you're staring at him in a news conference and he's trying to scare you. He has a bunch of people right there in a gathering, the sheriff does. Does that make fucking sense to you? No, that's not good. If you guys need to get straight, get straight, bros. You're gonna be fucked. No shit. Shit is real. And it's not when you think you're good and you're doing all the stupid shit. It's you know for a fact without a doubt if you have faith or not. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Just pay attention. That's not cool. Alright, peace out. Again, fuck spending money. Fix your own shit when you can fix your own shit. Especially right now, if you're at home, staying at home and shit like that. Learn how to fix shit. Learn how to fix shit, bros. Alright, peace out.